In this video, we will discuss the vertical order traversal of a binary tree. So in vertical order traversal, we have to print the tree vertically. It is a list of top to bottom orderings of each column starting from the leftmost column and ending on the rightmost column. So in the first column, we have vertex H. Then in the second column, we have two vertices D and K. So in the third column, we have three vertices A, L and M. In the next, we have two vertices Z and P. And the last column, we have vertex C. So this is the vertical order traversal. So we print each column vertically from top to bottom, starting from the leftmost and going towards the rightmost. Now given any binary tree, we have to find an algorithm that prints us the vertical order traversal. Let's see how we can do that. So we have seen that the vertical order traversal of this tree is. So let's consider the root is at location 0 and this is our x axis. Let's draw the distances of each of the nodes. So P and Z are at distance 1, C is at distance 2 and on the right side we consider distance as minus 1. So D and K are at minus 1 distance and H is at minus 2 distance. The nodes Z and P both are at distance 1 from the root node. Nodes D and K they are at distance minus 1, H is at distance minus 2 and C is at distance 2 and nodes A, L and M are at distance 0. So we'll create a map and we'll store the distances like this and at the end we'll print the map starting from the minus 2 distance. So for minus 2 the nodes were H, for minus 1 the nodes were D and K, for 0 the nodes were A, L and M. For 1 the nodes were Z and P and for 2 the node was C. So we just have to create a map in which we store these nodes according to their distance from the root node. And at the end we'll print the contents of the map as per their distance from the root node. So this will give us the vertical order traversal. Now let's have a look at the pseudocode. So in the first step we create a hash map that stores array of node values corresponding to their distance from the root. So we'll create the map here. And then we create a queue of pair tree node and the distance from the root. Then we create two variables minimum distance and the maximum distance. We have initialized them with minus infinity and plus infinity. Then the first step we push root comma zero in the queue. So root is a so we push a comma zero in the queue. Then we run this while loop till the queue is not empty. In the first step we set current to front of queue. So current becomes equal to A and the distance becomes equal to 0. And then we pop from the queue. So Q becomes empty. Then we update the minimum distance and the maximum distance. So we compare minimum distance and maximum distance with the variable distance. So both will be set to 0. Then we append current value to the distance key in the hash map. So for distance 0, we'll create a key in the hash map which maps to A. Then we check left of A. So left of A is D. So we push D comma minus 1 to the queue. So whenever we go left, we'll decrease the distance. So here the distance was 0 and here the distance is minus 1. And then we check right of A. So right of A is Z. So we push Z and 1 to the queue. So at Z, the distance is 1. Then in the next iteration, Current becomes equal to front of Q, which is D. Distance becomes equal to minus 1. Then we pop from the Q. So we remove D comma minus 1. Then we update minimum distance and maximum distance. So minimum distance will be now minus 1. And the maximum distance will still be 0 because 0 is greater than minus 1. Then we append current well to distance key in the hash map. So we create a new key for minus 1, which maps to D. Then we check left of D which is H and we push H comma minus 2 to the Q. Then we check right of D. So right of D is L. So we push L comma 0 to the Q. Now in the next iteration front of the Q is Z. So current becomes Z and distance becomes equal to 1. Then we pop from the Q. So we remove front element of the Q. Then we update minimum distance and maximum distance. So minimum distance will still be minus 1 and the maximum distance will be updated to 1. Then we append current well to the distance key in the hash map. 
So distance was one. So we create a new key in the hash map one which maps to Z. Then we check left of Z. So left of Z is M. So we push M comma zero to the Q. Then we check right of Z which is C. So we push C comma two to the Q. Then in the next iteration front of the Q is H. So current becomes H and the distance is minus two. Then we pop from the Q. So we remove the front element. Then we update the minimum distance and the maximum distance. So minimum distance will now be minus two and the maximum distance will still be one. Then we append the current well to the distance key in the hash map. So distance key is minus two. So we create a new key in the hash map for minus two, which maps to H. Then we check left of H, which is null. So this if statement is false. And then we check right of H, which is K. So we push K comma minus one to the Q. In the next iteration, front of the Q is L and the distance is zero. Then we pop from the Q. So we remove the front element. Then we update the minimum distance and the maximum distance. So these will be unchanged as minus two is less than zero and one is greater than zero. Then we append the current well with the distance key in the hash map. So we append L at the zero key location. Then we check left of L, which is null. So this if statement is false and right of L is also null. So this if statement is also false. Now in the next iteration, we check front of the queue, which is M and the distance is zero. Then we pop from the queue. So we remove the front element. Then we update the minimum distance and the maximum distance. So these will be unchanged as the minimum distance is already less than zero and the maximum distance is already greater than zero. Then we append current well to the zeroth key in the hash map. So current is M and at the zeroth location we have A and L. So we'll append M at the zeroth key. Then we check left and right of M. So both left and right of M is null. So these if conditions are false. In the next iteration, current becomes equal to front of Q, which is C and the distance is two. Then we pop from the Q. So we remove the front element. Then we update the minimum distance and the maximum distance. So minimum distance will still be minus two and the maximum distance will be updated to two. Then we append current well to the distance key in the hash map. So in the hash map, we create a new key for value two, which maps to C. So now we check left of C, which is P. So we push P comma one to the Q. And then we check right of C, which is null. So this if condition is false. In the next iteration, current becomes equal to front of Q, which is K comma minus one. Then we pop from the Q. So we remove the front of the Q. Then we update the minimum distance and the maximum distance. So these will be unchanged as minimum distance is already less than distance and the maximum distance is already greater than distance. Then we append current well to the minus one key in the hash map. So at minus one location, we have node D. So we'll append node K at the minus one key. Then we check left of K. So left of K is null. So this if condition is false and the right of K is also null. So this if condition is also false. In the next iteration, current becomes equal to front of Q, which is P. The distance is one. Then we pop from the Q. So the Q becomes empty. Then we update the minimum distance and the maximum distance. So these will be unchanged as minimum distance is already less than distance and the maximum distance is already greater than distance. Then we append P to the key number one in the hash map. So at key one, we have node Z. So we'll append node P at the one location. Then we check left and right of P, both are null. So these if conditions are false. Now in the next iteration, Q is empty. So this while loop terminates. And the last step of the algorithm is now we have to print the values in the hash map starting with the minimum distance key. So minimum distance is minus two. So starting from minus two, we'll print the values in the hash map. So minus two maps to H, then minus one maps to D and K, zero maps to A, L and M, one maps to Z and P, and two maps to C. So this is our vertical order traversal of this tree. So we maintain these two variables minimum distance and the maximum distance so as to print the values of the hash map. 
we could have taken an ordered map, but that would have increased the complexity. So we simply took a hash map in which the insertion cost is order of one. So with the help of these two variables, we printed the contents of the hash map starting from the left to the right. So if we look at the time complexity of this traversal, it is order of n. So once we've understood the algorithm, let's have a look at the implementation. So all the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, I've created this tree. The root node is A, the left node is D. So in this manner, I've initialized all the nodes of the tree. Then I call this function vertical order traversal in which I pass the root node. In this function, I first check if the root is null, then I return. Then I create an unordered map in which the key is an integer, which is the distance from the root and the value is a vector of char. So it will contain all the node values. Then I create a queue in which the element is a pair of the tree node and an integer. So integer is the distance from the root. So as the first step, I push root comma zero in the queue. Then I create two variables, minimum distance and maximum distance. So I run this loop till the queue is not empty. I come inside, I check the front element of the queue and I put them in current and distance. Then I pop from the queue. Then I adjust this minimum distance and the maximum distance variables. So in the distance key of the hash map, I insert current node. Then I check left of current. So if left of current is not null, I push left of current and distance minus one in the queue. And if right is not equal to null, then I push right of current and distance plus one in the queue. So after this while loop terminates, then I print the contents of the hash map and I run this while loop till minimum distance is equal to maximum distance. So this will print me the vertical order traversal of this tree. Now let's see the output of this program. So vertical order traversal of this tree is HTK ALM ZPC. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.